Hey coin collectors, it's DC on the Big D and we have the 2007 D Sacagawea right here in front of us. Uh, this is a $1 coin from the United States of America. It says Liberty at the top. It says In God We Trust behind her. Um, right over the baby's head. That's Sacagawea. And that's her son right there. Um, and then in front of Sacagawea under her chin, it says 2007 and down there is the... Uh, mint mark and that's a D for Denver. In 2007 the sec the Denver Mint made 3.92 million but they only made about 895,000 of this coin. What am I talking about? Well in 2005 the US Mint decided to take the uncirculated coin sets uh, that they sell and make them into uh, the mint sets and make them into satin finish sets. So the finish on the uncirculated mint sets is what they call a satin finish which is different than the finish on the regular coins. So if you get a 2007D there's two different ways you can get it. If you get it in this condition and it's a satin finish it's worth about four dollars. If you get it in this condition and it's a regular finish it's only worth a couple dollars. Not sure what the difference is and why the satin finish ones cost more. I think just because they came in the uncirculated mint sets um, and they only made 895,000 of them. So this is worth four plus dollars here. Tip it up on its edge and you say, oh, doesn't say anything on the edge. Yes, thank goodness. Love to do these 2007s because when they got to 2009, they started putting the edge lettering in it and it is just awful to read, especially in a used one, if any of you have ever tried to do that. What else happened in 2007? Um, well, they came out with the Presidential Series coins. So, in 2007, the Presidential Series came out, Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, and Monroe, the five, and they did have edge lettering. And let's see if we can even see. This is supposed to say 2007. We tip it just right and think good thoughts we can actually see the 2007 on there and this is a Philly so in the uncirculated mint sets you're going to get five presidentials you're going to get a Sacagawea you're going to get a Sacagawea D a Sacagawea P uh, the five presidentials in a P and a D and then you're going to get all the other coins the half the quarter, the dime, the nickel, and the penny, all in a P and a D. And then, of course, you can get the proof set coins. And wow, what a difference this makes, huh? This is a really nice finish, this satin finish. But look at the proof coin finish there. They only made 2.577 million of the proof sets. So this coin starts at about 650 right here, the proof set coins. Um, and it doesn't matter whether you um, get a silver mint set or a regular coin, um, the S is going to be the same because these aren't silver. And so the Sacagawea is going to be the same in the silver mint set or the regular mint set. Way down here at the bottom, you see this kind of marking here. And this is not any kind of um, part of her um, clothing. This is GG for Glenna Goodacre who was the engraver of this coin, which first came out in the year 2000. And has gone through, now it's got edge lettering, now it has some different stuff on the back. Well, let's see what is the back. This is a copper, zinc, manganese, nickel clad copper coin. So we got copper, zinc, manganese, and nickel mixed together on the top. Um, and of course on this one, they polish it different than all the others. And then inside we have, uh, a copper center um, in here, uh, nickel nickel clad with a copper center. And then on the back, it's, oh, look at that. So it says United States of America across the top, E Pluribus Unum here. Um, we have a TDR here, and that the engraver of the back, or the designer or end engraver of the back was Thomas D. Rogers, and so that's why the TDR. This is not one of the ones that has the line through the eagle, the, the wounded eagle ones. Um, you won't find that in this year. Um, and if we look up here, um, we see that there are, on this side, let's just count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 
12, 13, 15, 17 stars, because that's how many states there were when Sacagawea led the Lewis and Clark mission or um, scouting mission across the United States in 1804. All right. Well, so some of these are valuable. What happens if I get a really, really good um, used one that's not a satin finish? Well, it turns out that there's not a whole lot of money in them. At MS67, um, for the Sacagawea, um, you can get up to um, $17. In other words, you can get a coin that looks almost this good, maybe even better than this, um, in a business strike, it's only worth seventeen dollars. At sixty-seven plus thirty-four dollars, and at sixty-eight, we get up to one hundred and twenty-five to one hundred and fifty dollars for some of them. So, this coin is not going to make you rich um, unless there's some special error or something else going on with it. The Sacagawea coins are collectible because of how they look and because of how beautiful they are, rather than how valuable they are. All right, that's all we have today from Big D Coins. This is DC saying, please subscribe to Big D Coins and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.